Since the very beginning, we have been fascinated by marine life. So much so that today, many people keep a piece of the ocean in their own homes. However, many people who keep marine fish in their homes know little about the environmental impact of their hobby. The aquarium trade has caused multiple issues concerning the environment. Keeping marine fish causes some of the biggest environmental problems of the industry. The problem is all based on how the marine fish you see in the pet stores are collected. Now, most marine fish come from reefs in Indonesia, the Philippines, and Sri Lanka. The issue is all down to one chemical, sodium cyanide. Sounds scary, doesn't it? Well, sodium cyanide is a highly toxic potent nerve toxin that which is used to catch marine fish, which end up in pet stores across the world. Fishermen spray this chemical onto the fish they want to capture. The sodium cyanide stuns the fish, causing it to lose balance and float up to the surface. There, fishermen can easily scoop the fish. The chemical may also injure or even kill the fish in the process. However, that's just part of the problem. The main problem is the chemical's destruction on coral. According to the International Marine Alliance in the Philippines, for every one fish caught with cyanide, an entire square yard of coral is destroyed. Even a little bit of cyanide can interfere with the coral's biology. Coral bleaching, which is triggered by the cyanide, is the cause of the reef's destruction. Coral bleaching leaves the coral vulnerable, which causes them to eventually die out. The reefs are home to many different species of fish, invertebrates, and sea mammals. Marine animals who once depended on the coral for food now find it harder to survive as the reefs continue to be destroyed. As a result, more of them die out. Though coral reefs cover less than one-tenth of one percent of the ocean floor, they support 25 percent of all marine life in the world's oceans. This is a large chunk of marine life we certainly don't want to damage. Marine life depends on coral. However, this also works the other way around. Coral reefs depend on on its inhabitants. Now you might have heard of the film Find Nemo from 2003. This popular movie featured a clownfish and because of this clownfish sales jumped 40% that year. This year the sequel for this movie Finding Dory was released in theaters. Dory is a regal blue tang. Just like with Finding Nemo it's almost certain Finding Dory caused a, a sales increase for regal blue tanks this year. This however is a big problem. You see, regal blue tanks feed on algae, and as a result, help maintain algae levels in coral reefs. With their populations decreasing, the control of algae in reefs across the world is loosened, which could lead to an imbalance of the food chains. Not only is the environment affected by the destruction of coral reefs, many of the locals who fish for tropical fish do it for a living. Their career is slowly fading away as the reefs begin to die out. Just like at the animals who inhabit the reefs, the locals also depend on reefs as a source of food. Moreover, many species found in coral reef systems produce compounds which can benefit the human body. Reefs could help the fight against cancer, arthritis, asthma, and some heart diseases, just to name a few. Now, you might be asking, why don't we just ban the use of sodium cyanide? Well, the Philippines, Sri Lanka, and Indonesia actually have already all banned it. However, 90% of tropical fish imported into the United States are still caught with sodium cyanide. And it is because sodium cyanide is such an efficient and effective tool. In fact, tropical fish sales around the world are estimated to be around 200 to 300 million US dollars worldwide. Luckily, this problem is being tackled by governments. The US has a law called the Lacey Act, which makes it illegal to import tropical fish if they were caught against the importing country's laws. There are also ways that you can help the issue yourself. If you're into marine fish keeping, make sure the fish you purchased were bred in captivity, not caught from reefs. The best way to find out is to ask. Finally, if you're interested in keeping tropical fish, I think the best thing you can do is to educate yourself on the subject. That way, you will know what it takes to be a responsible pet owner. And in a way, you'll be able to prevent worsening reefs around the world. Watching this video is a great start to that. Hey there, I'm Paxan, the creator of the Fisher Issues YouTube channel, and I would like to personally thank you for watching this Fisher Issues video. I really appreciate it. I hope you enjoyed the video and learned something meaningful from it today. If you did, be sure to give me a like, comment, and share this video with your friends. If you'd like to learn more about environmental issues relating to fish, please take a visit to my YouTube channel, 
or hit the big yellow subscribe button down below for more videos. My work cited can be found in the description, as always. Alright, see you next time. This is Pack signing out.